Well, we're going to begin today with continuing coverage in the investigation of a missing Cambria County woman. Our Scott Mattis is in Johnstown, where officials wrapped up a news conference just a short time ago. He's going to join us live now with more details. Scott, Jilly Tadero has been missing nearly five months now. Are police any closer to some answers now? Unfortunately not, Morgan. Good morning to you. Rather good afternoon live here from Johnstown. That's why they called a public press conference this morning at the headquarters for the Johnstown Police Department, begging the public for any kind of help that they might have, specifically the family of Jilly Tadero. Now, they have spoken with family and friends in previous months over the last five or so months, as you mentioned, since she went missing back in December. But they're still looking for key pieces of evidence that they just don't have. As you might remember, 40 Three year old Jilly Tadero was reported missing on December 13th and was last seen along the 500 block of Franklin Street, right here in the city of Johnstown. Now, Johnstown police did collect several pieces of evidence from that location and also searched the home that she shared with Brian Giles, a familiar name in this area, several days later. Now, we're told that the warrants included looking for any kind of evidence where she might have gone, such as notes or bus passes. They didn't comment on whether or not they found anything actually inside of the home. However, they're still trying to put together the pieces to this complicated puzzle, and solving it may come down to the public's help. A lot of times people have answers that they don't know are actual answers. Um, it's more of a, uh, they th think what they have is insignificant, but it might be the missing piece. It might be the link that we're looking for to put the entire case together. So uh, whatever you have, however small you might think it is, it might mean the world to our investigation. And that's very key information, Morgan. As you just heard the sergeant detective uh, say, really, somebody out there knows something. Now, they do have a person of interest in this case, though, when I asked the sergeant detective, he would not give me a specific name. Of course, there are a lot of, they're keeping a lot of evidence very close to the vest because they don't want to screw up their investigation by giving out too much. So the bottom line to this big story, someone out there knows something. If you're a family or friend, contact Johnstown Police, their non-emergency line, and if you have information that you would like to share with JPD, you can always call them anonymously. We'll stay on top of this story for you, so please stay with us. For now, reporting live in Johnstown, Scott Mattis, WTAJ News.